You have to dispose of lithium ion batteries, whether you want to recycle them because they're at the end of life, or you just had some type of event, some type of failure in which you need to dispose of these lithium ion batteries. How do you get rid of the stranded energy? If you're dealing with a small quantity of lithium ion batteries, maybe you're a hobbyist, you work in RC cars, or maybe you had some type of failure. Either way, you wanna dispose of these batteries, you wanna do it properly, but first, it's a good idea to remove the stranded energy. How do you do that? Now, this again is for smaller devices, a cell phone battery, laptop battery, small battery pack for maybe some power tools. This doesn't deal with electric vehicles because on an electric vehicle, it's very difficult to get rid of that stranded energy. UL Fire Safety Research Institute has done a large study on a variety of different ways of soaking these batteries in different solutions in order to remove that stranded energy. And what they found is a sodium bicarbonate solution is the best solution to soak these batteries to remove the stranded energy. It's quite a simple process. You get a container and you make up a mixture of sodium bicarbonate to water. And that mixture is 78 grams per liter. Or in the US, the best way to look at that is about one and one eighth cup of baking soda to one gallon of water. Now, after you have this mixture, you set it out, you can take your batteries and you can put them directly in the water. I would recommend doing this in a well-ventilated area, outside preferably. Put those devices, those batteries in the water, allow it to soak for 48 hours. Now, if you look at the data that UL has collected, most of the charge is gone after 24 hours, but giving it that full 48 hours, that's the best case scenario as you're trying to remove the stranded energy from the battery cells. Now, UL did test a number of different solutions and they all worked, they all discharged the battery cells, but some of the other solutions had different issues. They would actually dissolve the materials contaminating that water. And for the average homeowner, the average person trying to discharge those battery cells, you don't want contaminated water to deal with after you're done with the process. With the sodium bicarbonate, especially if you've got a small quantity of battery cells, it's perfectly okay after the cells have been discharged to actually dump that water down the drain into the sewer system. Now, if you're a fire department or a hazmat organization, you're soaking a large number of batteries trying to remove that stranded energy, I would highly recommend, especially if you have 50, 75, 100, 500 gallons of water, at that point, I would call an environmental service in, get that water pumped out and treated properly. I wouldn't want that going down the storm drains. But when you're talking the average homeowner, the average hobbyist, one or two gallons of water, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. If you're interested in the study, I'll have it linked in the description below. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. That way you can stay up to date with information as new content becomes available.